Hey guys, David H. here uh, in my bedroom recovering from a bit of a cold because I've been partying a little too much, <laughs> having a lot of fun, but oh, uh, just too much going on. So anyways, recovering for the next few days because I'm trying to make it out for the weekend and weekend days and Thursday and whatever. But I wanted to make a video and a video response to a video I saw by um, Ms. Deanna Lorraine. Uh, about five tests hot women give you. I think Deanna's pretty good. I really agree with a lot of what she says. Um, however, a couple things I will say is that it's not about acting 100% confident. The only way you can act 100% confident is to believe um, in yourself and believe you're an attractive guy, a hot, sexy guy. Um, I learned a lot of this from Corey Sky. My man Corey Sky really teaches this stuff really, really deeply. Um, CoreySky.com is his website, so I suggest you check that out. Um, now, I agree, those are the kind of tests women will give you and, and why they do, because a lot of guys do kowtow to women, the hot women, and and I will say that <laughs> the beliefs have to be there. you got to work on your own beliefs so that you are solid in yourself, um, no matter what comes your way, you know, no matter, you know, she's got her five tests and tips or whatever. But there could be other ones that come your way. So <clears throat> it's all about believing yourself and more than that, accepting yourself. Um, no, you know, good and bad, faults, um, fears, whatever. Um, and, and the real trick to it also is that when, uh, and we'll call them, uh, guys often call them shit tests, these tests come up, is just own it and say all the way, authentically, what you think. Um, that's what I do, and I did it this weekend with a girl I had met and was hanging out with, and uh, she was giving me shit about not being married at 36. <laughs> she really had no idea she was talking to, so I, I let her know that uh, I don't abide by society's rules. Uh, I have chosen not to get get married thus far. I'm not against it, but you know, I told her, do you think women didn't want to marry me? Hello. <laughs> you know, um, you make your own rules. These the society rules bullshit doesn't apply to uh, attractive people. And what I mean by attractive people is not physically attractive, but people that believe they're attractive, because they're so uh, secure and confident in themselves. And really, it all comes down to self acceptance is what it comes down to. Um, if you self accept confidence and all this stuff will will naturally come come from it. Trying to be confident and all this stuff it, it doesn't work so well um, it, as well as self accepting. Now the other secret <laughs> that she's not leading on to is that you actually need to test women, and I suggest you test the women before they get to testing you because not only are most guys gonna, not going to do that, but why wouldn't you test them? There are a lot of crazy women out there, just crazy needy women out there, just like there are crazy needy guys. Start testing them straight out the gate. If you're interested in her and she's interested in you, you know, not only that, it just shows that you are confident enough to to do that to a hot woman, you know, and all she is is a has a hot pretty shell, but underneath she could be as crazy and as needy as you know the guys that Deanna's talking about, really, and especially if she finds a guy that is really secure and confident and self-accepting and can just freely go, hey, you know, so how many relationships you've been in? You know, qualifying them, testing them. Um, do it. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. And it gets real. The interactions get real and authentic. And then you get to see how she is under pressure too. You know, uh, you, you do got to be able to handle that pressure and it gets easier as time goes on. It's it's not a big deal. Um, but, you know, owning it, saying authentically what you believe is the best thing you can do. You know, not trying to say what you think she wants to hear, not trying to give the socially acceptable answer, all that crap. Forget that crap. Forget it. Um, so that's my two things is to uh, self-accept and you have to actually... Believe in yourself and believe, I don't want to say believe in your confidence, but believe you are that sexually desirable guy, um, that sexually attractive man, that attractive man that women want to be with. And two, test them, qualify them straight out the gate, up and down. And uh, you'll have a lot of fun either way. And 
she'll be more drawn to you most likely. So, uh, you know, and it'll make her chase you, which is a big one um, as well. It's, there needs to be a balance of chasing. You know, it gets boring if uh, she's always chasing you and she gets bored if you're always chasing her. So, and it, it's all, you know, it is, it is sort of a game. It's sort of a fun game that you know you're playing, but it really doesn't matter. You're just playing the game to play the game to have fun with it. You are not the game. She is not the game. The game is is supposed to be fun, so you got to have fun with it too. All right, so thanks for watching, um, and leave comments, feedback, questions as usual. Cheers.